And now before we go, Wall Street has been open just a few minutes and we cross back to ABC's North America correspondent Lisa Miller. Lisa, what's happened in the opening? Tiki, as expected, it has jumped around quite a little bit, but it is heading in the direction that people thought it was going to head, which is downwards. Uh, the Dow opened immediately down about 0.2%. Uh, now it's climbing. It's uh, about 1.75% down, about 246 points uh, off where it closed on Friday. As you said earlier, of course, this is the market giving its first indication of how it's dealing with the Standard & Poor's downgrade grade of uh, the U.S. economy. Gold is up about 3 percent. There's been quite a rush to gold, to the currencies, but certainly the Dow at the moment down roughly just under that 2 percent mark. And so I expect today you will hear a lot more of the political flack from both sides. The blame game continues. Tiki, I think it's interesting that just before the bell rang, the opening bell rang, all the chatter on the business channels was about the Tea Party, was about the president, was about Republicans and Democrats. That gives you a real indication of how uh, politics is uh, working its way into this story in a big way. And then, of course, we look forward to the Federal Reserve meeting tomorrow to see whether that is going to take this story any further. But I suspect it's going to be a pretty volatile week. Volatility certainly is the name of the, uh, of the game today. Lisa Miller, I know you've had a very, very long morning and a long day to come. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thanks, Dickie.